Okay, welcome to the second part. Um, I will be showing you how to maintain the WEM92. So, the materials you're going to need is the parts that you have disassembled. You're going to need a Q-tip. You're going to need a piece of paper or a paper towel and or a cloth. Doesn't really matter. And you need a recommended um, lubrication brand. Uh, this is a brand I l really like because it's going to um, save you money, it's going to last a while and you don't really need to use that much. It's an EWL lubrication for um, airsoft. Well, I mean like for airsoft um, black blowbacks only. It's not for AEGs. It's only for um, gas blowbacks. So yeah, it's an EWL. I recommend this. Um, you can get it at your local air, airsoft store if they have it. If they don't, then I guess you gotta buy it online. And I'll post the link down below. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to maintain your gun. I already maintained my gun already, so, but I'll just show you anyways. So you take your piece of paper and then you wipe everything. Wipe everything, wipe everything, wipe the middle, wipe the inside, wipe the side. And then you take the EWL and then you put it right here, you put it right here. And put it right here. Put, remember, put small drops only. And then once you do that, you rub everything, you rub the middle, and that's it. Now you can put um, like the EWO in here if you want. Doesn't matter. It's just for the trigger. And you can put the EWO in here. You need to put the EWO in here because it's a valve striker, and it's the part where it's going to get hit the most. And you need to put the oil where it's going to be hitting the most because it's going to be sliding, sliding back even on the sides and then you need to put um, EWO right here too like a little bit and then start rubbing it rub everything all over it and then yeah not like over here just like on the main part okay so that was the lower receiver now you go up to your the upper receiver you wipe everything clean it clean it you clean inside here you clean inside there and then you take the EWO put like one drop right here one drop right here one drop right here and then another drop in here but I recommend you just like rub it first all over first before you put a drop inside here and then you put another drop inside here by using a q-tip to rub everything all over it and this you can just use your finger and then once you get all that lube everything lube it lube it lube it lube it and that's it and now you got your barrel the barrel right here you put two drops two small drops oh yeah when you put drops put a little not so much because if you put too much it's going to waste your um, lubrication and then you just rub it all over like just put two drops and rub everything all over and that's it you can clean the inside if you want but I don't really recommend it and then you got the inner barrel you can clean the inner barrel by using the jammy rod um, from your AEG if you have one or a q-tip just stick it in blah 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 put silk on oil in it first and then rub it and that's it and then for this um, there's a hop up right here you can adjust that if you want to M9 hop up just to let you guys know and then stick it back in the barrel okay and that's it voila and now you got your recoil spring and this so you take the cloth clean it clean it and then you put like one drop right here one drop right there and then you put it everywhere remember to put some right here because that's where it's going to be hitting the most and like all over this thing and then same go for the recoil spring you just do this clean it clean it and then you grab this you put some on your finger and then you just like roll it up like that and that's it like just roll 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 and then remember put it on this side not this side this side only and you put it in like that and that's it and that's how you maintain your pistol um, you can ask me for further more questions on how to maintain it and I'll be showing you the third part where I'll be um, reass reassembling the M92 uh, so stay tuned